On this video, I'm going to demonstrate concatenation. Concatenation is a word we use in quilting. It means linking patterns together in a defined sequence. Now let's get started. I'm going to pick some patterns and under patterns, Judy Lyons has uh, give us some patterns that I decided to use today. And so if I go to patterns down to legacy quilting and here is four patterns I want. I'm going to pick the first one, hold down the control key and click on the other three and then we'll select those and we're done. You notice it brought all four of those over. The size of the first pattern determines the size of the rest in the sequence. Now the sequence is, I'm going to start with number one, hold my control, go to two, three, and four. Now we're going to use those patterns in an edge to edge sewing. I'm going to follow the directions here. It says click upper left corner of edge to edge quilt. So I'm on the upper left corner, moving over to the upper right corner, lower right corner, lower left corner, click. Okay, that gives us our boundary. I need to set the quilt length now. So let's set that to 45. Now you see the scenes we have. We have four different patterns here. We start off with this one. This is the second, third, and fourth, and they're different. That sequence could be any sequence when I'm picking these can change that. This is an example how you can take patterns out of sequence. I'm going to go over here and click on four and I'm going to two, three, and one. And if I go up here and click on transfer pattern to boundary, it will change those in that sequence. Another example, let's just take uh, the second one and then go to four, three, one, pattern to boundary. You see how that changes that? You can use this these patterns right here to do a whole cloth quilt. And that wouldn't that really look neat? Here's where I started a new edge to edge project. And if you'll notice, I've used this Riding in the Sunset, which is one of Kim Diamond's patterns. All of these are Kim Diamond's, and they all match one another. If you notice, I only picked one, and it's a repeat of that. And yes, I know these need to be together, but to demonstrate, I'm going to leave them this way. All right, now I'm, what I'm going to do is hold the control key down and pick some more patterns. I'm going to pick four, four, one, three, three, five, one, and go up and pick transfer pattern to boundary. And you notice now how these are in sequence just as I pick those. See, this is number six. Here's where I pick two of these together and so on. See, I picked two of those. So that is a demonstration of how you create multiple repeats in different rows using concatenation.